Hello everyone, this is Judy from Judy's Handmade Creation and I got an email and of someone asking me how do I transfer an image on wood to use a wood burning tool and the wood burners that I use are is this creative wood burning and it's a detail this is a detail wood burner it puts detail into the wood and it's the one with this small tip on it. That's the only tip that you get with this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a small tip like that. And this one's, this is a walnut hollow wood burner. It's a detail one. I use this wood burner. I got another one that I use and I use this wood burner here a lot this has where you can change it for different um, materials that you use you can you can put the temperature for leather um, cork on on embellishments a lot ceramic um, foam core board you can set the temperature on this one and this is a this is a creative versatile this is one of the this is a good one it comes with different um, different pieces different points that you can use and I use this one a lot I use this a lot on leather and wood because it's got some projects here I do a lot of uh, like leather bracelets and wood items with this one and this comes with when you get this one it comes with a box and you get like a little stand and this is all the pieces these are all the pieces that you use to burn into the wood that there let me see if you can see them that's different pieces you get a lot of these here you get like these little grooves here you get those you get a little stand and if you want alphabets, you have to buy them separate. That's how I did this. I was practicing on here. That's how I did that. That's the alphabet one that I got. And this is a good wood burner here. Both are good wood burners. This can do a lot of different uh, materials. And this one here is more for like detail, like small areas on like wood or whatever. Uh, whatever. And I'll show you the project that I did with this one and how I transfer it. To transfer an image, I usually buy these at Walmart. These are good for embroidery, fabric painting, quilting, wearable art, needlepoint, and other crafts. I use them for embroidery and I use them for wood burning. And what you do with these, you just, these are Aunt Martha hot iron transfers. And what you do is you just cut out the, the, the uh, design you want. This is the one I'm going to show you. That's, this is the design that I put on the wood that I'm working on. I took and cut a piece of plywood. You can see where I took and marked it. And this is the design. But how I get that design on here, I take and I face it down. And then you just take your iron 
and just on over it until you get it on there real good. I'll tape it down there. I tape it so it don't move. And then I just take my iron and iron over it until the design gets on this wood. Then I heat this up. And then I just start tracing over where I got the, the, the uh, design in there. And I just make these lines darker. And it like puts like a groove in there. And that's how I transfer my images to do wood burning. And I'm going to do some more designs up here. And then I think what I'm going to do is take and maybe make it where it can be hung up for this one. I'm doing these for um, a craft, craft, um, to sell at the craft shows. And these are, they're really easy to do. You just got to watch out so you don't get burnt with this. These get really hot and these will burn you. So this is not a something that you would want a little kid to be doing. I learned how to do this in um, middle school. Wood burning. We used to do wood burning in school. They don't do that now in school, but we used to do it. And that's how I learned how to do this. And that's a little pretty design there. So if you need any ideas of transferring, just go to go to Walmart and get you some of these Aunt Martha's hot iron transfers. And they have them in different designs. They have a lot of different designs. And this one's got all these designs in here. I'll open it up. All you do is just cut them and then iron them on your project. That's all. It's got a lot of designs in here. This is all different owls. And you just cut them apart. And just use them on your project. That's how I transfer images on my wood. You can draw images if you're a good drawer. But... The best way to do it is if you can, you're not a drawer and you just go buy some of these and use these. I got like mermaid ones and all different kinds that I use for stuff like this. For embroidery and wood burning. And let me see if you get close up to see. You can see where it burns into the wood. That's what wood burning is all about. It's like burning into the wood. And that's a really nice design. The owls. I think I'm going to put like something up here like a words. And then I'm going to do some designs on around the edges. And that's how I transfer my designs. I hope it gives you some ideas. And... These tools, you can purchase some of these tools you can get at Walmart. They got them at Walmart, but I think these were purchased at Michael's. Because the other ones I had stopped working because I had them for so long. And then these are like new ones that I purchased. So, get you some wood burner tools and get busy with wood burning and it's so much fun just be careful so you don't get burnt thanks for watching be blessed bye bye